So I'm currently behind the wheel of the 2024 Acura TLX Type S, and I'm gonna take some time to go through the interior of this thing. So starting as I normally do from left to right, over on the left, you've got your window switches, you've got your door locks, you've got your rear mirror adjust toggle hidden right behind this grab handle. Up top, you've got your door latch. You've got some buttons for the presets for the driver's seating position that you can set. To the right of that, you've got some heads up display buttons. So you have the uh, HUD tilt, so you can make it go up or down, and then the dim level of the HUD as well. You have some sensors for the vehicle, rain sensing, wipers, parking sensors, and traction control button right here as well. And your parking brake latch is located right here. Then you have a full crisp clear uh, gauge cluster. So a lot of the options over on the right can be cycled through. So right now I have it on a G-Force meter, but the standard, uh, I'm currently having the sport mode as well. So I'm gonna kind of put it in normal and this is kind of what you would see. So you have the tacker over on the left, speedometer on the right, and you also have digital in the center. It says, you know, what, what mode you're in. You can see normal right there. Currently still have that G-Force meter. But then you also have comfort which kind of knocks out all the gauges and just kind of, you know, the only information you need, which is the miles per hour and whatever little settings you put over to the right. But then when you get into sport, you can see you get the boost gauge over on the left and uh, the tack up top and a speedometer gauge, you know, tied with that just digital number right there. And then there's also a sport plus mode, which you have to turn and hold it. Kind of has a different color scheme, but I'm just gonna put it in sport just I, I've been driving around the sport. I kind of like this gauge the best. Got the boost gauge right there. Um, everything you need. So right now I have the G-Force meter, like I said. So I'm gonna just kind of quickly scroll to the top. So you have trip computer, navigation, maintenance, tire pressure, the all-wheel drive uh, little icon. So if you were driving the vehicle, each of these corners would showcase just kind of the power going to each wheel that g-force meter which i had it on driver attention level seat belt so this is kind of unique um and right now you see it's got the check box for the driver but if i hook myself you see it turns red which is cool because then you'll know if your kids are listening to you in the back if their seat belts are actually buckled you don't have to worry about that blank screen safety support and gauge settings where you can just adjust whatever you like but i've been kind of leaving it on the g-force now Moving to the uh, steering wheel, how I was kind of scrolling everything is over here on the right, and you have a bunch of cruise control options to go along with it. Over on the left, you've got, you can control the power of it, um, of all the, the settings, but you have volume control, this is a tuner knob, menu, and back for the heads-up display options as well. On the back of the steering wheel, you have paddles for selecting your own gears, so you have down and up gears. Give you a better look at the steering wheel, which features nice Type S branding on the bottom. The engine start stop button is tucked low behind the steering wheel. And then you have the navigation display. So this is kind of the main menu showcasing uh, all the different app bubbles as I call them. So you have navigation, phone, um, Sirius XM, uh, FM radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, smart shortcuts, system updates, Bluetooth audio, USB audio, AM radio, Alexa, AT&T hotspot, ambient lighting, settings, Acura link, and then just messages on the end. Now this is not a touch screen, I'm adjusting the options from the center console and I'll showcase how I'm doing that when I get to it. But those are just the different options that you can play with. Coming down from there, you have your uh, hazard button, you have HVAC controls, I like how they're all buttons. So, you know, the green and red, obviously for heat and cool. Um, you have for both the driver and the passenger. Uh, both driver and passenger get three levels of heated or ventilated seats, which is great. Um, right here in the center, this dynamic mode dial where it has arrows on both sides, that is how you switch between different drive modes in the vehicle. So just tilting that to the left, cycles through comfort, normal, sport, you just twist between them and then you see how it says turn and hold up there. That's how you get to Sport Plus. You basically are in Sport and turn and hold it to the right and you'll be in Sport Plus mode. Coming just center from there, you have uh, your different gears you can select for the vehicle's transmission. So I'm currently in Park. Reverse is this tab, pushing down, neutral. And then you have Drive and Sport. You just push, you know, if you were in 
park like I am, you push push it once, you're in drive, push it again, I'm in sport. Just showcased right there on the dash. So drive is a D, sport is an S. Gonna go back to park for safety. You have your auto start stop off right here and then the brake hold as well. So that is for uh, if you're at a red light and you want to um, save your right foot, if you're in a lot of traffic, you can put your foot on the brake, push this and the vehicle will hold for you. You can kind of stretch your leg, push it again and the vehicle will release. This is the kind of touch pad which controls everything uh, on the navigation screen. So you have some but quick uh, select buttons such as home and back, but this is basically a touch sensitive pad and this is for the, the little window to the side. You have your volume control. You can also turn this, uh, turn off, you know, things up there as well as the tuner knob right here. You have a back from there and diagonal back. You have a charging pad, which you can turn on and off, which I like. Um, you have cup holders right here. You got your armrest. Reveals a bunch of options. So you could probably store in some variation, like six Coke cans. It's pretty much the depth of a Coke can in here. So you have a, um, old school smokers plug right here you have a old usb and a usb c plug right here as well moving to the passenger side got your glove box give you a better look at the passenger door the seats which feature type s branding give you a look on the seat behind me because i currently have my son's car seat in the back the front row gets a sunroof Currently has a lot of pollen living on it. Then you got sunglass holder right here. Different uh, buttons for the lighting and the sunroof as well. Up top right there. But that is pretty much the interior of the 2024 Acura TLX Type S. If there is a feature or detail button that I didn't go in depth enough along, uh, in the video, uh, be sure to leave a comment or question in the comments below. Do not feel if you stumble upon my video in, you know, two or three years because these are popping up on the used car market and, you know, your, your vehicle didn't come with a manual or something like that. Don't feel like any of your questions are a little, you know, old or should have been answered somewhere. I'm finding a lot of my videos are getting new life on the used car market. So do not, you know, if you stumble upon this and it is 2028, uh, you know, and you have a question, be sure to leave in the comments below. I'm sure I can uh, get you an answer or point you in some direction. But other than that, thanks for watching.